Hi everyone, it's Kim. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. Today I'm gonna bring you a quick, easy protein shake. And I'm always looking for new ways to use up some of that protein powder that I bought. So today I'm gonna to be using the Quest protein powder. I'll try to remember to put a picture here. of the actual container. I don't have the container here with me um, for the recipe, um, as I keep mine just in a little jar on my counter. So um, quick, easy, I think it's gonna be three, one, two, three, three smart points. I'll, I'll refigure that as we're going through. It's gonna be three or four, but I think it's gonna be three. But I'll configure that as we're going through, because um, I just finished up with um, one of our WW Zoom meetings, so I'm starving. It's breakfast time. It is um, almost 11 o'clock, but I've been wanting to film this one for you because I've been making this one quite often, and it's really, really good. I have um, sticky notes in my hand so I don't forget the measurements. So um, let me turn you around. I'll show you exactly how to throw this together quickly, and you can enjoy this um, in your own home. So all right, let's go. Okay, so you can see I have my Nutribullet out here. Um, I love this thing. I've really had some really good success with this. And most of my recipes have a, I know I've showed you guys this before, but most of my recipes call for eight ounces of liquid. So I measured out eight ounces, drew with a Sharpie on this container because you don't wanna to have to measure that out every single time. So I'm gonna pan you down here, trying to figure out the best angle on this. All right, so. What I do in order to cut down on points on my protein shakes is I, when it calls for eight ounces of almond milk, um, what I do is I do half and half, half water and half almond milk, just because of the fact that again, it just, it's gonna cut away a point and I can you know enjoy these a little more often. All right, so I'm just gonna pour in about four ounces of unsweetened vanilla almond milk. Again, here's another look at that one. Um, four ounces, zero smart points. Gonna go ahead and fill that up to the eight ounce mark with some water. All right, so I'm just gonna grab a tablespoon out of my drawer here. So what that is, is it's going to call for one scoop of vanilla protein powder, and that's equal to approximately a third cup. Okay, so again, I'm using my Quest protein powder, and I just keep my PB2 and my protein powder right on my counter just because it makes it easier for me to get to all the time. So I'm just gonna grab a third cup of vanilla protein powder. And if you don't have Quest, you can pretty much use any type of protein powder that you have. All right, I'm gonna set that aside. The next thing it calls for is one tablespoon of PB2. So that's just powdered peanut butter, whatever kind you have will work in this. So one tablespoon of that. It's gonna call for one teaspoon of powdered cocoa. So it's just like your baking cocoa. So one teaspoon of that. It's gonna call for graham cracker crumbs. So I'm gonna put one tablespoon of graham cracker crumbs in here. And I'm gonna double check my ingredients. Oh, one more thing. It also calls for vanilla, I'm sorry, for caramel flavoring. Um, I just have my skinny syrups here, the vanilla caramel. I've done it with and without this, so if you, it, it just a teaspoon of caramel flavoring. Um, you could also use car sugar-free caramel as well, but the pumps, zero smart points, so it's not adding anything extra. And in my cup here, I just have some ice. So I'm gonna add a few things of ice here, and then I'm gonna give this a quick little blend. I told you guys this was gonna be a really quick video. I'm gonna cut out because the blender does get really loud, so hang tight. Okay, so that's done. I'm gonna pop it off of our base here. And look at that so thick and creamy. Um, if you have not invested in some smoothie straws, these things are great. So watch this. Okay, so, well, hold on. 
let's see if I can get you a really, really good close-up look at that while I pour this in. All right, I think that's good. Watch this. It's like a big milkshake. So yummy, so creamy. Again, I have been enjoying these quite a bit. I'm having at least two of these a week right now. And I always keep forgetting by the time I get it pulled together, I, you know, I, I just forget to film it. So make this, make this in your kitchen. I found this recipe online. Um, it was on Pinterest somewhere. I can't re, I can't find it. So just, it, it was, it's, it's like, it's called a Twix protein shake. And let me tell you something super good. It's going to hit that sweet craving. It is going to be filling because of all that protein powder. It's super yummy. Try it. Put this one on your list and try it. Um, I had had the graham cracker crumbs from another recipe, so stay tuned. Don't fret because you're going to go, Kim, I don't want to buy all these ingredients. Buy the ingredients. I promise we're going to use them. I've got a few more recipes for some yummy protein shakes using vanilla protein powder and some of these graham cracker crumbs. So I've got at least two more coming your way. So um, definitely try this. All right, so I'm going to sign off. I'm going to enjoy this while it's nice and frozen and yummy and cold, and we will see you next video.